Hey everybody, so I haven't done a favorites video in a while, and I don't normally do like monthly favorites. I just kind of do them when I have a lot of stuff that I've been liking. So I found a makeup full bag full of stuff that I've been loving lately, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So first of all, I guess I'll start with two brushes that I have been loving. I do not know how I do my makeup without them before. And they are both the um, Real Techniques brushes, and I got these from, I believe, Alta, and they go on sale quite often. When I got them, they were buy one get one half off. You can also buy like the starter kits and different kits and things, and they're all really good pricing. They aren't on sale; they're still a pretty good price. So, I'm using this one, which is called the Powder Brush, and it is just this huge, super, super nice, soft brush. And I just use this to set my powder and I do my foundation, and it just oh feels so nice on your skin. And then when I do my foundation, I use this one, which is the Expert Face Brush. And it's kind of like a mini rounded kabuki. It's really dense and very, very soft, which is nice. And it is amazing. It blends and smooths everything so easily. And the size is perfect. It's not too big or too small. You can still get like around your nose and under your eyes, and it's really great. And since I'm talking about foundation, my favorite foundation of late has been the Revlon Color Stay Wet. Um... This is somewhat new, it was more new a couple months ago, but it's still new. And I am in the color 110 Ivory, this is the lightest shade that they have. And <clears throat> this stuff is awesome. I have worn it on days where it's been over 90 degrees, and I have worn it for more than 10 hours at a time. And it looks pretty perfect, <laughs> even after 10 hours and 90 degree heat and humidity and sweating and it's being hot. It still looks really good. It's kind of pricey, I believe it's around $13 to $15, depending on where you get it. But I think this will last a really long time because honestly, a little bit will last a really long time. So I love that. And then something new that I've been doing, I've been doing my eyebrows. I've never done my eyebrows before, but I thought I'd try it and I can't believe that I never did them before. It just, it makes your look look so much more cleaner and professional and pulled together. If you only do like one thing, put your eyebrows on. It makes such a huge difference. And the thing that I've been loving is the Milani Brow fix brow kit and I love this because it comes with three different powders and it comes with this cute mirror little tweezers it's great for travel I typically don't use um, these items I use my own tweezers and things but if I was traveling or had throws in my purse these are very nice to use and also has a mirror down here and I love this highlight shade I use it every single time and I use this one and it's the perfect shade and this is the medium one so if you have like my coloring you might want to get this one they also have a lighter one for blondes but this is like amazing and i think it's around eight dollars or so at cvs absolutely amazing completely recommend it let's see what other goodies i have in here oh bb creams i know those are like the biggest hottest thing right now honestly they're kind of a gimmick i've heard the asian brands are amazing but the american brands just aren't that great but I do like this one mainly because I like to use it as a primer under my makeup and this is the L'Oreal Magic BB Cream and I'm in the shade Fair. It just it doesn't really do much but it's just a nice base for your makeup kind of acts as a primer and just helps a little bit plus it feels really moisturizing on my skin which I like a lot so I like using this under my makeup. <clears throat> And then something that's been around for a while but I just recently started getting into is the Maybe Maybelline <laughs> Baby Lips. I am addicted to these. I have the Peppermint one, what's this one, the Cherry Me one, and I also have the pink one in my purse, which is my favorite because it really actually does give a lot of color to your lips. So these are the ones I have completely addicted. As you can see, I'm almost out on this one. <laughs> I need to buy another one. I love these. They're kind of pricey. They're around four bucks. But you can get them on sale a lot of times, and I'm just, I'm completely hooked on them. <laughs> they're just a lip balm, but they're amazing. And then something also that I've never really done before is tight lining. My eyes never really allowed me to do it before because they were just too sensitive, but I've been slowly building it up, and I actually can do it now. And my favorite pencil for tight lining has been the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And it is a very small eyeliner. I have not sharpened this. This is the size that it comes but it really does last a long time. I haven't even had to sharpen this yet and I've used it quite a bit. It's just a very nice dark black and it is perfect for tight lining because it goes on very easily which is something that you want. You don't want to be <clears throat> having to push and tug and pull because it's such a delicate area right on your tight line. So it goes on really easily and it stays on pretty well. Not 
amazing, but it's pretty good for your tie line. So, like this a lot. And there's Miss Shabelby. And, um, another product I've been loving, which I'm sure I've talked about before, it's the Rivlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain in Sweetheart. This is my go-to shade when I just need something on my lips that will make me look awake and more alert because I put this on and I look so much more awake. I love it. It's my favorite of all of them. Best color ever. So, I love that. And then, another eye item that I am liking is the Infallible. And this is in the color Ice Latte from L'Oreal. And again, on days that I just want to look awake and alert, I put this on my eyelid and this is all I put on. Put on the pink um, lip balm and I look so much more awake. It's just this really pretty, it's kind of like a gold shimmery color. It's gorgeous. I love it. So really great color. I've tried the other ones too, but this one's just my go-to color. And then a couple more things. Here's another eyeliner. This actually isn't an eyeliner. This is the Hard Candy Concealer and the color light. And this is what comes with your little Glamouflage concealer. It comes with this little pencil. And yes, you can use this as a concealer. It's great for concealer. But what I use it for is my waterline. Because a lot of times white might just look a little bit too stark. So I use this <clears throat> instead. It just looks really nice. Helps your eyes look a little bit more brighter and larger. And Chanel is so into this and fascinated by this video. So... <laughs> She really likes it, but um, I wish you could buy this on its own. You can't. It only comes with the concealer, but I do like this a lot. And then a few more things here. Eyeliner. I have a big problem with eyeliner. I can't really wear pencil. Trust me, I have tried them all because I guess my eyelids are oily and they transfer way too much. So I have found liquid liners are the way to go, and I like these. These are the ones by Wet n Wild. They are like three bucks each. Love them. I have the black one. I have, they don't really have names, just numbers. I have this navy blue one and this kind of teal colored one. I found the colored ones at Walmart. The CVS that I have only has the black one. And I found that the ones that have the color to them are very hard to find. Excuse me, at least in my area. So try Walmart, plus they're the cheapest at Walmart. Let me swatch these for you really quickly. I found that the dark blue one is a little bit hard to get the color out of, but... If you go over it a couple of times, it really does a trick, and it's really pretty. I love how many saying it are than black. It's just kind of fun sometimes. So, there's the black, the navy, and the green. So, it's just really, really pretty and super cheap. And once you put these on and they dry, they do not budge. Like I said, I have very oily eyelids. They don't move, so I love these. Alright, then, two more things. One thing is a lotion. I have been loving this. It's the Clean Shower Fresh, and I love um, all the clean fragrances, especially Warm Cotton and Shower Fresh, just because I really love it, and you can put a lot of it on, and it's not going to be overwhelming. It doesn't give me a headache, and I'm very sensitive to scents. It doesn't give me a headache. It's not overwhelming. It's a very, very neutral scent. It literally is like you just got out of a really nice clean shower, or like you rubbed a dryer sheet on you, so it's not going to bother other people. Especially for me, since I'm doing people's nails and makeup and stuff, I don't want to have on a perfume or, you know, a body splash or anything unless it's a very, very neutral scent. And this is something that I can wear if I'm working on clients. And it's, I don't think it could bother anybody. It's just such a clean, simple scent. So I have this, um, the lotion of this and I love it. And then a perfume that I do like if I'm not working on clients. This is the MAC Turquatic and this has been out for a while. But um, I finally picked it up. I've been wanting it for a while. And I got the Rollerball just because I've never made it through even halfway of perfume. And this just smells so good. This is also like kind of a fresh, clean scent. It's not very florally or citrusy to me. It's just kind of very, just very like fresh and kind of clean, kind of warm, more warmer scent. But I do like this a lot. And just a little bit goes a long way, which is nice because you don't use a lot of perfume. But yeah, those have been my favorites of late. I've been using this stuff constantly. I'm absolutely loving it. So I'd love to see or hear about what your favorites are. Makeup or movies, anything. I'd love to hear about it. So leave your comments down below and I'll make sure to read them. Or if you want to do a video response, I'd love to see that too. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.